Good day my friends, this is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel and today I'm going to be playing more State of Decay Lifeline on the channel. So what I'm going to do is immediately select my storage device, select Bright, uh, Bright then. In instinct guys, instinct kicks in and I want to play Bright then. Hit continue and we'll see if the Lifeline simulation has been kind to us. Now, I believe that this is my first ever Lifeline simulation and definitely is my first ever lifeline simulation. I didn't take a break in the first series. I completed the entire game in one recording session and obviously it was ill-fated because my hard drive exploded and I never got to upload the rest of the episodes. I'm determined to finish lifeline and actually upload it this time for you guys. Without my piece, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to jinx it. I'm not a superstitious man, but I don't like to tempt fate. Oh boy, the last thing I want to do is lose another Lifeline series. I'll never get the fucking game finished. So we're at threat level one. I know I'm not connected to live. Do not give a crap about the leaderboards. Governor, Michonne, Pooper, Murray, welcome back, boys. We're home. The simulation actually looks a lot kinder in Lifeline than it does in uh, Breakdown and Vanilla, to say the least. Look at that. We still got 108 food, 57 meds, 19 ammunition, and 213 construction materials, 59 fuel, 114 influence. Now let's see what the hell was I doing? I can't even remember what the hell I was doing before this grand infestation with screamers. I think I've still got two up here. I have indeed two infestations back to back. I might actually do these. It might help us become friends with these bastards at the base camp. Because I had one. Let me see if, if she's still here. Uh, bow. Yeah, truly Baldwin. Look at that. Powerhouse. And I really want to switch out to her. I have no one with the pro wrestling ability right now. And I'd love to have an actual powerhouse with pro wrestling. She'd be a good survivor. I'm playing as Tiara Jordan, my reflexive survivor. So she's nimble. I've taught her spin kick now. She's a fitness guru. She's a researcher as well. So she's a flawless survivor. Spin kick enables us to press Y to bitch slap a uh, feral and then, then I can use the left bumper and Y to critically kill them in one hit. Our current goal is to rescue high value assets. We got 16 minutes for a long range supply drop, seven minutes for whistling box mines, two minutes for improvised painkillers, two minutes for MREs. The training is selected for reading lights for improved wits bonuses. Whenever we search something, we get increased wits XP. We are researching potent homemade stims. We've got nothing available in the supply locker. Traps are still set. Traps are still set. Latrine doesn't need cleaning. Solar power is still active. Perimeter defenses are grand. Nothing for SAT comms. So our only objective is pretty much just to wait for missions. I've got a gun in here that I'll deposit for some instant influence. Uh, press X to reload, but I don't need to. Uh, what I'm going to do now then, guys, we've got... Uh, three, four, five, I'll top up one more snack. We've got a hundred left in the supply locker. I've only got seven flame for gases, but I do have 12 mines. So what I'm gonna do is take out six of those big boys. Uh, attach a suppressor, do I need one though? Let me just, nope, I'm still good for suppressors. That still has 50 left on its uh, wind down. So all is good there. What I'm gonna do is take my gold boy out. We're gonna go and clear out this infestation. We've got a couple more up top as well. We've got a horde en route to set infestation if we take that way. Uh, but all in all, all is going well. Uh, I don't think there's a scoreboard for this, is there? Nope, but it would be cool to see how we are faring in the old score department. Did I just set off one of my fireworks? Well, yes, I certainly did. Or did I? I did, I definitely set off that. Uh, Firework. What a knob. What a knob. So how's your day going, guys? Set off any uh, fireworks today? Because this boy just has. I just run over that son of a bitch. Little things to these two son of bitches. Now where actually is this infestation? Is it a little ways down here? Probably one of these re uh, warehouse buildings. We've got a danger zone right close as well. We don't want to head into that. You can see the little red dots spawning left, right and centre in that particular area. So the infestation is here. So what I want to do, I've got a nimble survivor who I'm trying to train him with. I'm going to try and get my sneak on a little bit. I didn't heal my hit points before I left. What a nonce. Right, let's just uh, pop a snack. Free homemade painkillers. 
Hem off a meds. They're trying to break it already. So where I want to. Oh, oh fuck! Fuck! Shit! 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 Oh god! That's a feral! That's a feral as well. We've got a feral, a screamer. That was the worst ambush ever. What I was gonna do? I was trying to simply uh, get a snack and get a mine going on, but feral. And we got a search and rescue. We're already level two on that. We'll blow up that bastard. Jesus Christ! That was chaos. Son of a bitch! Need to reload that. No, I don't need to reload it. What I was trying to do is switch to that. That was crazy. That was a. I was off to a rather decent start, but obviously the game had other things in mind for me. We got. <laughs> it's still got more things in mind for me. I'm down. I thought this was going to be empty now, but apparently not. I'm injured twice. We'll uh, rescue this soldier, head home, and switch out to somebody else after the next siege. Because we should be all right for the siege. Just getting. Beyond the siege is going to be the issue. So what I'm going to do is head outside, drop a mine, run away. Oh fuck, of course. There has to be a screamer and I'm down again. Jesus, Jesus Christ and a stick. Got this boy down as well though, so that's something. Where's that screamer then? He's still going tits up. Zed's a wipe from the location, so that's something. I want to head back into my vehicle. I don't want to stay around and party with these bros. I simply want to get in and get gone. Because Tierra Jordan, look at that. In one... Gefuffle, she's lost half of her maximum hit points. We should be alright for the siege. Normally I wouldn't risk it, but I'm fairly confident in my siege survival skills that I can get it done. Let me just get away from the aggro point. There's my truck still parked on there. Sweet ass parking from Wayne. Three whistling box mines, MREs. Uh, where else did I make? Some painkillers, I'm already doing that again. Whistling box mine, good, good, good. Let's, let's uh, restart the fireworks, shall we? These boys aren't going to really give us any grief, so we'll just run them over. Uh, where are these soldiers? Because we haven't really got long to go. Where did that go, then? Search and rescue. We found a surviving soldier. We found hawks holed up in the city. We're glad to have another rifle on our side, and they're glad to be alive. Hey, She's the captain! She's the captain, of course. What? What? Last remaining personnel evacuated from trauma containment barrier. Operation Box Top officially abandoned. Situation reports tell you how the world beyond Danforth is coping. Okay. Never seen these before. Ah, oh, so the personnel have just been evacuated from Trumbull Valley. Oh, so that's how Trumbull got inf uh, infected and abandoned them. Let me just see if we've got any more of these local news that I've missed. Ay, ay, ay. No, so that's bullshit again. Telling me I've had... Three, uh, no bro, I've had one, and it's number three. So, apparently Hawks is now, has now joined our camp. Thanks for that, Captain, this is your operation after all. I'm glad to have you on board, my lady. I want that. I've decided. I'll constantly drive past this thinking, I'm gonna have that one of these days, and I never do. Got a bitch trying to catch off guard, so I'm gonna run that son bitch over in a sweet ass new skin truck. Look at that, tidy as hell. Very happy with that. Threat level three, time to get home, get kitted out, and get this show started. We're gonna have a pyro display like no other. I wanna stick to Tierra Jordan. I like to live dangerously. Right, what we got nice then? Four mines on my person that I will plant before I head back. At the end of the day, I might as well plant them now. Then worry about them later. Two. Three in the usual spawn and points. A popper and an MRE, because we got plenty. We got over 100 in our base camp now. I probably won't bother making any more just yet. Can't get around that way. Come on, Jordan, sort it out. Break this open. Head around here, get out my flame and gases, of course. Uh, three. That's it, we got six of those, boys. Uh, pipe bombs, I'll deposit for now. I want to take out. Three flame for gases and an extra three mines. First wave's already imminent. Jeez, they're not really wasting any time in this one. I hope this doesn't go tits up because I haven't had a chance to prepare due to that ambush that happened out of nowhere. So what I want to do is quickly pop an MRE. I do not want to waste any time at all. I want to drop a mine here. They're probably going to come from the north, which they are indeed. So we've got some uh, pyrotechnics going on over there already. I'm going to drop one there, drop another one here. We've still got the noise going on. That's terrifying. Uh, we'll pop a flame for gas right here at the base where Sassy's uh, garden for us. Thank you, sugar tits, you beautiful bearded bastard, you. 
Esquire. What? You just went boom for no reason. Ba -da military drop kick. I'll roll over here. Kill this bastard. We got a couple more coming in, so I want to pop an MRE. Well, might as well try and get a few edged weapons kills in. I haven't maxed out this bitch for no reason. Nimble, nimble, nimble. Beautiful stuff right there. We got another couple coming in over this way. Contact East indeed. She's just like, I see what I mean, where I did in uh, episode 5 or 6 or something, when they just hop over that wall, that's what we're doing. Nimble! Nimble! Right, Polly. Knife to the back of the dome, we got a couple more bastards coming in, but they're all getting blown up to shit. They haven't got there yet. We'll pop capping you. Oh, never mind, you're just gonna blow up yourself. Kill you, sir. And you, sir. It's only the first wave, jeez. I've only got four MREs left. Two flame for gases, I want to save the second wave. There we go. Second wave is coming from the east, so that was a good thing that I did right there with the uh, flame for gases saving these for the east wave and heading to the east at the same time. A little bit of stroke of luck going on. Pop, uh, pop another flame for gas. I think that is all on the explosive front. So, what I want to do is quickly head back to base camp. Oh, no, I've got these boys on my tail, but oh, fuck, I've done it again. I've done it again. My army bro chasing us, but he won't, probably won't get in if we do. We've got Tom. Popping a cap, left, right, and centre anyway, so all he's good there. Pop one of these, I'll take an S mine, just in case we encounter the Juggernaut. I've just ate a painkiller just in case. Tom is clearing out that bastard. Hawks, I newly recruited you, Hawks, Hawks apparently. He's doing some damage. We, we're doing alright at this side, but it's this side that's doing worse. So what I'm going to do is switch out to my S mine. Shit's going haywire right now. We want to pop off this S mine somewhere here, just to get it done. Look at that mini map, that is, in, that is chaos. Utter chaos. I want to drop a mine there and roll out the way. Quick smart. They're all coming in east. No, I think they're in. East gate is indeed bridged. So what I want to do is head all the way east. Got two ferals knocking about there. Don't want to aggro these boys. What I want to do is run in, drop a mine, and hopefully evacuate the mine area quickly. There we go. No, I still got downed. Tierra Jordan's taking a whooping in this episode, guys. Uh, MRE. And now we'll just stay on the inside of the gate to finish off the siege. I think that should be it. Uh, we took a lot of damage that I didn't expect in this episode in general so far. I'm running 12 minutes into this son bitch, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful, or at least switch out to somebody else. And the siege isn't even over, so let's just quickly repair this gate. Uh, hopefully, it's, uh, it is a juggernaut, a typical, typical. I'm half dead. I'll get a bloody juggernaut in. But I think that's all that's left. So let's knock this guy out. The gate will shut itself. I've got one mine left, bro. Oh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> let's just finish him off. Ah, oh, you big bastard! Fight go boom! Come on, sugar tits. That's a big ass mine with your name on it. Yes! Yes! Daddy home! So that was a shockingly uh, adrenaline rush of a siege, in my opinion, guys. I was on the edge of my seat. I'm sure I'm on the edge of my seat. That's how I have to sit anyway. We got the chopper coming in to bring our civilian Tommy. If I hadn't here, I don't think I did. Right then, survived a little longer. Threat level, Sassy's Hi, ill. This is Black Friday. We have Michelle Martin inbound with a stack of documents. There's plenty of room on the landing pad. I'm Michelle Black Martin, Friday. of course. Be ready for another extraction when we have the intel. I wrote out. Michelle Martin's on her way home. Who do we want to switch out to? Am I friends with that uh, lady yet? No. I'm still not friends with Trudy and that infestation clearing that didn't really give us any more friendship points with them. So I think uh, Kilo could use some training. I think I'm going to stick with Kilo, go for Kilo for a little bit. Kilo definitely needs a little bit of training. Am I friends with you, bro? Rusty Machete, not really worth it. Tomahawk, nope. Put Machine Blade. Industrial Wrench, I am friends with Jade. And I could get an... No, it's just got foraging for supplies. Why the hell not? We've got a mortar mark that I still haven't used from that siege mission. Is that homemade? No, just a regular painkiller. I'll take an extra one of them. Uh, snacks. We're doing all right for snacks. I might craft a few more. Just extra precaution, basically. We still don't have a large rucksack. X to reload that. Uh, I will take out another... Oh, I've already got 30 in there. That was my bad. That was my bad. I think I will go and clear out these infestations at some point as well, so I'll take out the two thermites to fill my backpack. I've got the mortar marker that I may use there and then. I keep forgetting I've got those things on the map. That will come in really handy. Uh, Sasquatch has got a mission for us, but 
Uh, do I really want to do it? I don't want to get the new ending again that I got through the last time. You ready time. to try this shit again? I'm all set. Ready right, we gotta find a screamer. I think we have to kill this screamer with burning. So is, is this fire? Let's just go for so the fire bombs. Just fire. be on the safe yeah. side. I hope you brought a Two of those. Otherwise, you're gonna be useless. Okay, so we have to kill a screamer by burning. So we have to throw a Molotov at a screamer and wait for Sassy's dialogue. That our caller has Thank you, Vienna. By the military again. Are you army guys confused or what? You abandon the city when you think we're all going to die, but when somebody gets on the radio, suddenly you're here to save us. Fuck, where were you when my neighborhood was turning into a zombie nest? Well, Vienna, do you want fucking rescue me or not? Are you going to be a bitch about it? Oh, uh, you're as bad as Lily. Of whom I actually quite miss. Really? I never thought I'd say it, but there's a lack of Lily in Lifeline. Triple L, guys. Even Barry, she's a lesbian. Lack of lesbian Lily in Lifeline. I have no more L's. So we are on the highway once again. Starting to get a little bit dark, I believe. I'm going to vandalise the shit out of this. We're going to another couple of door shots in. Now we're going to head and get the Screamer mission done for Sassy, who will give us another little bit of more dialogue and backstory about the zombie apocalypse that's uh, caused Danforth to become known, in my opinion, as Infected Danforth. And of course, the apocalypse stretches into the nearby Trumbull Valley in the main storyline as well, so we're going to learn all about that via Sasquatch's missions in this series. I'm going to regret this. No, I'm not. Fair enough. I'm going to regret this, though. Oh, sugar tits! That was sweet. Life is good, guys. I just grabbed a lifeline, and boy, survived. That's a screamer, isn't it? Do I see a screamer there? Nay, I do not. A screamer isn't knocking about here. So I can just kill these normally. Where is this? Where's the boy? Still no scream. It's got to be in one of these two locations, so he's here somewhere. I just want to finish, uh, clear out these stragglers with the vehicle to avoid any unnecessary fighting when I'm looking. It could be in the back of the truck. It could be in the back of the truck. I'm just going to abandon my truck here. Sassy, none of your funny business like you did with that blow to that one time. There's a pie again. Footers, acre of pie. Danforth's only licensed pie warehouse. My dream home, guys. I'm dreaming. There he is! Come on, you armless tosser. There you go! You're gonna burn! No, you're not. You fucker! I've got no. Oh, will this work? Let me check. Set zombies on fire. I don't. I can't do that, can I? Oh, son of a bitch. Let's see, let's see if it actually burns him or not. It does nothing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes. That, that was a stroke of good fortune. You tell what? Honestly, bruh, that was fire. That was fire. The guy writhed in agony on fire. And died of fire, he chewed. And you have the goal to tell me he didn't die by fire. Really, Sassy, you're getting on my last nerves. And I've only got one. Alright, let's head back home again. Actually, have I got a fucking outpost anyway? Yes, I've got an outpost right here. Drone trailer. Right, so I don't have to head all the way home, but I do have to go around these uh, big. Oh god, this is gonna end badly. Yep. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I got it. Oh, mama gone, yeah. I'll vandalize some more shit on the way to this outpost. What I'm going to do is take out the thermite. I can't remember if thermite's explosive or fire. So, one way to find out, considering fucking that mortar strike didn't make him die by fire, even though he got set on fire and died of fire. Fuck you, logic. You can bite my shite. Ouch. Shiny metal ass. My truck's almost knackered as well. Right then. Sassy, wait in the truck. 
That's not waiting in the truck, bro. Where the hell is this supply locker? Took his meats. Got to be a supply locker around here, right? There we go. Right, I'm going to take out thermite. I'm also, just to be on the safe side, going to take out these petrol bombs. Three of those, Can't boys. One more snack, because I'm running low, oh, boy. Now what we're going to do is try, try the thermite first. If the thermite doesn't work, then we will go for... What do you call it? The other thing. The other thing, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Petrol bombs! I know that's fire for definite. You're in better condition than me. My truck now, even if it is covered in blood, at least it's not smoking from the bonnet. The engine's on its way out. Whereas this one is just covered in blood, which is my kind of truck anyway, so fuck you, old truck. Nobody likes you anyway. What the hell's that? Second. Oh, balls. Right, I just got distracted. Okay. I, do, I keep hearing noises, guys. I just had to go and check what it was. The freak him in the fuck out. I think it's just because it's a windy day for once. Which is nice. I like a windy day. But the thing is... It's freaking me out to the point where I have to go and check what it is. It's just the fence panels rattling. But still! You know what I'm saying? It could be zombies. I'm playing a zombie game. It could totally be a zombie. Okay, so we're just running off of these barricades. We'll kill this screamer. That guy's just... Like... I don't know what's going on there, but he was just running along the road. Nobody's business. Right, where's this armor? It's tossed at this time. He's not that, it's not that side, so he's going to be somewhere here, maybe. No, he's going to be in the back of the truck again. I bet you. I bet you. So let's just move this crap car out of the way. It's actually a really good car. Right. Where is he? There he is. There's the boy. So we're going to thermite you, sir. Die! Die, bruh! Right, why isn't he dying of fire? He's just walking through my fire. There we go. Die now, please. There we go. We did it, guys. We did it. Okay. I think I'm ready to head home now. Good. Is that it? You just ready? That's how I like it. Medium rare. Right, okay. Escort Sasquatch back to base. That is our objective now, my friends. And I'm going to get um, this little yellow car for a little bit more speed and precision on the way home. Uh, right, I'm going to cut this one short, guys, because I just need to pop out momentarily. So, yes, we've completed the Sasquatch mission eventually. can live through most of that, at least for a while. But shoot us in the brain and we're just as gone as his head. I'm just thinking that this parasite or whatever probably lives up in the brain. So you fuck up its home, it stops dead. It leaves the body to fall down and rot. Fuck! Why am I talking to you about it? You don't know shit more than I do. Okay then, yeah, sorted. Right, we're good to go, my friends. I'm obviously going to have to cut this one short as I just need to pop out. But I'll be back for a longer episode shortly when we continue for episode 10. Thank you very much for watching. We've just completed another Sasquatch mission. Got a bit more backstory on the zombie apocalypse that's infecting Danforth. And we've got a lot more to be going on with. I'm still waiting for more main missions. We've still got more exploring to do. We need more influence, need more gear, this and that. We've got a lot to do. So thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. I fucking love Lifeline. Cannot wait to continue shortly. All the best, my friends. Have a good day and goodbye.